Sorry. <laughs> I know a lot of the work you do in the, in the clinics for, for Yamaha is based on projection and, and sound projection. You believe in breathing correctly as well. And that is reflected in your sound. Um, as I was sitting quite near the front last night. Um, what, what sort of advice would you give again on actual you know, production of tone? You know, how to breathe correctly? Are there any exercises you would do or just, just things to think about when you're taking air in and how you push that through the saxophone? Sure, but I would have to use you as an example, so you'll have to swing your chair around. Okay. <laughs> Where do you want me? Put the chair here. Now, you sit with your legs out that way. Okay. Good. Okay, so it, saxophone, but all instruments, they're wind instruments. Mm -hmm. So the wind that we put into the instrument becomes the most important part of the instrument. And people don't think about that. And it needs to be a solid, solid support for your tone. Your tone all starts with the kind of air you put into the horn. So we talk about diaphragm support. We talk about, well, for, for, prop, for a proper air column, and you want a good, steady column of air shooting across. So we talk about the diaphragm, and you have to support from the diaphragm. And that just becomes a word, especially to a beginning player. You say diaphragm, and you may as well say cauliflower or broccoli or shoe. It has no actual meaning for what that is. So what I do is I have a player sit in a chair like this, and I have them lean over backwards and kick their legs out so it's slightly suspended. Okay, now feel this tension here. That's your diaphragm. It's right under the rib cage, and it's the muscle group that supports the lungs. So now take in a breath and blow out. Good. Again, deep. Come on, you can get more air than that. Deep breath. Good. Back up. And now you felt that, you feel that shaking? Yeah. It's the diaphragm now pushing that air out, and your lungs are going, well, <laughs> this is a muscle that's coming up to bear. But that helps students get in touch with this muscle group and where it is. And I encourage, especially students who are starting out, to actually take their horn, lean back a little bit, and put a breath into the horn and play. And they hear their sound just suddenly open up from nothing to suddenly it's a much bigger sound. And that's because now they're putting a proper column of air into the horn to support the sound. And it will, it will dramatically change your sound. And it's, it's the way that a player should play all the time. Mm -hmm. that, that feeling, you know, they go back and they can do it for a few seconds and they go, okay, I'm tired now, i got to rest. But as a professional musician, that support, that feeling that you have when you lean back, that's what you need to have all the time. All night long. Yeah, for the entire performance. And, you know, we always talk about, like, when professional players play and, and they, they lean forward or trumpet players specifically, they lean back and, so, wow, they look really cool when they do that. But specifically, it's to help that diaphragm support. You know, sax players, they blow, and they start leaning down into it. And once again, it's getting support for the lungs, which is pushing the air into the horn, which is allowing for that proper sound to come out. And where's my cauliflower? <laughs> uh, it's going to take too long to explain. I'll need a diagram. <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs>